most misleading words on a food label. When I first heard about this segment, even I didn't know what they were. Pick it up. Sell by. Sell by. It's on all the food labels. Today, why you need to know the real meaning of sell by before you head off to the grocery store. Best selling author and registered dietitian Francis Largeman Roth is here to explain. So, Francis, what's the difference between sell by, use by, best by? What do all these words mean? Okay, sell by is really for the retailer. That indicates the date uh, that they can display the product until. Use by indicates the, the peak quality. So, that's the date up until it's going to taste the best and look the best. And Best Buy is similar. So that is really indicating the flavor, what, what the flavor is going to be best by that date. But none of these indicate when the food is going to spoil by. So do these words have anything to do with freshness, with safety, with the things we actually care about? They were originally to indicate freshness. But over time, we began to understand them as meaning something about food safety. And so with all this variation, sell by, use by, it really means nothing to the consumer. All right, so we wanted to test this theory out, but the women really knew this was true. So we sent two concerned moms to the grocery store to analyze the sell by dates in the milk aisle. Take a look. <laughs> It says sell by Wednesday. You think I can drink it past Wednesday? Same brand, different sell by date. Do I buy the later date? Or does it mean the store can't sell it past Wednesday? This organic has an expiration date of eight days later than this regular 2%. Why is that? These two bottles are right next to each other. There's a five day date difference between these two bottles. What is safer for my family? 10 days. Five days. 12 days. Tomorrow. Shopping for milk can be really confusing. Kelly and Sheila are joining us. How do you choose the milk when you're at the milk store? I usually go by the date that is the latest that I can find in the dairy section, whether it's 1%, 2%, whatever the date is. No matter what. So I actually, I just happened to glance at these. They're all bought the same day, by the way. These are the sell by dates 22nd, the 26th, 18th, there's a 17th. I mean, it's all over the place. So who decides, Francis, to sell by dates and use by dates? Surprisingly, this is not regulated by the FDA or the USDA. The only dates that they regulate are dates on infant formula. Everything else is left up to the industry and states. And some states have no regulations at all. Oh. And so I got very confused about this. We reached out to the FDA and, and for their position, and their response was, with the exception of infant formula, like Francis just said, the FDA does not require food firms to place expired by, used by, or best uh, before dates on food products. It's not required. This information is entirely at the discretion of the manufacturer. So, for the foods that we look for, it's confusing. So, can we walk down this aisle Absolutely. and teach us what we need to know? So, okay. let's start off again. We started the dairy aisle. Let's yes. give us some information on that. For cheese, milk, butter, what do we look for? Okay, so for all of these, you do want to buy it before the sell-by date. Definitely get it before then. But then, once you have the milk and it's reached the sell-by date, you can still use it for three more days. Oh, oh good. Yeah, as long as you've refrigerated it properly. And eggs, four weeks after you buy them, you can continue to use them. All right, let's move into the, the, the produce that's, uh, that's non-perishable, packaged products. Okay products, breads, canned goods? Sliced breads, you can use a week after you buy it. Okay. For canned goods and packaged goods like this, two years after you buy them, as long as you store them properly. Two years? Yeah, and that's wow. at room temperature. So not at freezing conditions and not at hot conditions. Don't store things near your stove. And bread, we usually, in the house house, will keep in the refrigerator. It seems to last longer. Is that right? It or not will right? last longer, but it, it does dry out. So, you know. I think it's okay. I agree. Save I agree. On as long as you toast it, as long as you toast it, toasted, it's probably going to taste right, good. Moving on to frozen foods. There are lots of dates on these packaged products. Definitely. So for things like a frozen dinner, there are sell-by dates. And, you know, for it to taste really good, you want to use it by that date. It will okay. still be safe after those dates expire. So then if you, maybe you made extra soup or you made an extra lasagna, you can keep that in the freezer as long as it's packaged well for up to three months. Three months? Three months. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. We're throwing away a lot of food. And We're stuff, throwing right? away a lot of food. And always remember to defrost things in the refrigerator All right, for so safety. We just got the, 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 the spiel here about what, what these numbers do and don't mean. So how do you actually tell in your own household okay. whether or not one of the kids can actually imbibe the milk? I want you to remember cot for food safety. That's color, 
odor, and texture. Okay. So the reason why food spoils is because there's been some sort of microbial growth in the food, mm -hmm. and that changes the smell of the food, the color. Uh, there could be dark spots or light spots. When those things start to happen, when things get slimy, that's when you want to ditch it. Okay, that's good. That's good to know. Thanks. Thank you very <laughs> Thank much. You. We'll be right back. Thank you.